Welcome to Winston Churchill Public School, situated on the traditional territories of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe. Our educators and students have been learning about vermicomposting. We partnered with the Faculty of Education at Queen's University to see how we could match the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals with a classroom vermicomposting project. As part of the Faculty of Education Outreach Program, Queen's University provided each class at Winston Churchill Public School a box of life inspired worm farm. The worm farms and developed teacher resources were designed to help students understand the importance of soil health through the process of vermicomposting. Having worm farms in the classrooms enable students to learn about organic decomposition, the soil food web, the relationship between earthworms and ecological sustainability, and so much more. It provides exciting and hands-on learning experiences for students and teachers. So what is vermicomposting? Vermicomposting is using worms to transform organic waste into healthy soil. What is organic waste? We have been feeding our worms our leftover wood. Kid. <laughs> Potato peels and pretty much any other vegetable we can think of. So I bet you want to know what happens to all that organic waste. The worms eat the leafy treats and vegetables and turn it into worm castings. So what are worm castings, you might ask? It worm poo. You might be wondering why we would be studying about worm poo. Worms add nutrients to the soil from their castings, which makes the soil incredibly healthy. Why is soil health so important? Soil health is essential to our survival. It's what gives our planet life. It's what gives our planet life. It gives our planet life! Planet life is the focus of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Well, what are the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals? The United Nations has created 17 Sustainable Development Goals as a blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all. This all started when the world leaders came together in 2015 and made a historic promise to make the world a better place. They set a deadline to achieve these goals by a target date of 2030. Which leads us only a few more years to accomplish these important environmental goals. So how does this relate to our school project? Soil health is directly related to seven different United Nations Sustainable Development goals. These seven goals are zero hunger, good health and well-being, clean water and sanitation, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production, climate action, and life on land. These sustainable development goals cannot be achieved without healthy soils. Let's break these down. United Nations goal number two is zero hunger. Improving soil health creates better growing conditions for plants, which increases food production and promotes sustainable agriculture. United Nations goal number three is good health and well-being. Improving soil health helps to increase the nutritional value of plants to promote healthy eating. United Nations goal number six is clean water and sanitation. Improved soil health plays a role in helping to provide clean water for drinking and agriculture. United Nations goal number 11 is sustainable cities and communities. Healthy soil promotes urban farming and community gardening, making neighborhoods more sustainable. United Nations goal number 12 is responsible consumption and production. Through effective organic waste management, more nutrients goes back into the soil, which means healthier soil. United Nations goal number 13 is climate action. Soil health can play a positive role in reducing the impact of climate change by capturing carbon dioxide. United Nations goal number 15 is life on land. Healthy soils help reverse land destruction and halt biodiversity loss. This means better soil. More trees. Plants. And animals. Soil health, it's what gives our planet life. Soil health, it's what gives our planet life. Soil health, it's what gives our planet life. It what gives our planet life. So what have you learned? Worms are cool. We learned that worms can reproduce super fast. You've learned that worms are good at eating a lot of organic waste. We learned that healthy soil helps plants grow better. We learned that it's easy to naturally help improve soil health. We learned that we can make positive environmental changes through fun and interactive projects like this. By utilizing our organic waste in our vermicomposting project, we were able to achieve some of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals through improving soil health. We were able to incorporate vermicomposting projects into many curriculum subjects and expectations. 2030 is the deadline for completing the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. 
although this may seem like a lot of work in a short period of time, this is not impossible. Everybody needs to start now taking steps to help tackle these global goals. It's really just that simple to make a difference and give our planet life. In our efforts to learn more about soil health and sustainability, we are reminded of the tremendous opportunity we've had to engage in this project on the traditional lands of the Anishinaabe and Haudenosaunee people. As settlers, we remain focused on protecting the land for the generations to come. We are excited about all the work that has been done and all that is to come.